yeah, man, I'm never going to do it on my own, man. That's not... Even if I could, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? I can't, I'm not that, um... I'm not that, um... What's the word for it? I'm not that, um... Not good. I mean, yeah, I'm not that good either, but... I'm not... I need, I need more help, you know what I mean, with people. I'm not that, like, regularly, you know what I mean? And plus, I'm not that... I'm not into... I'm not that kind of person that sits at home just with a guitar trying to write a song, you know what I mean? I've got other things going on in my life. I'm not like one of them committed songwriters that's sitting there looking for the greatest song, you know what I mean? I'm quite happy some other do it and I'll sing it, you know what I mean? And put it in the back of the net. But then once I get into it, I get into it, you know what I mean? I have I have periods where I don't put the guitar down and I have periods where I just look at it and go, you fucking looking at it. I'm not that kind of dependent on it, you know what I mean? Can't play any Oasis. Really? I can only play what I do. Can't even play Wonderwall, mate. Really? Yeah, mate, I can't even get my head round that. I can just play what I play. It's different, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's like, if, if I play instrument, I'd be there helping out or, you know, getting into it, but being boneheaded, boneheaded, just get his down really quick and that, and we'd just be off in the cars, man. That had a boozer. Who knows, could have gone into apps. Who knows what I'd have done. Who knows, who knows what, who knows what these little inside my head have got planned for me, you know what I mean? But you know what I mean? Obviously I would have had to do something because the bill's got to be paid, hasn't it? You've got to be, you've got to be um, you still got to, you can't sit in your house all day, can you, for the rest of your life? So who knows what it would have been, but I'd have had to do something. But ideally, music is where I'm at, you know what I mean? So I'm thankful that it went off and then obviously you could go out and gig and you could play the Oasis songs as well, you know what I mean? And everyone has a good time. I'm meant to be on stage, man. I'm meant to be in the studio and I'm meant to be doing stuff like this, you know what I mean? This is where I feel natural, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sitting yeah. at home, so, speak at a lawyer's three times a day. Obviously, it's my own doing and that, you know what I mean? So before people start, you know what I mean? But, and like I said, you know what I mean? It's nice to have an itinerary, you know what I mean? It's nice to people turn around and go, right, this is what we're going to be doing for the year. Me and our kid had some mega times. I'm not having just because we split up. That was only a little, a little bit. You know what I mean? If you're gonna, if you're gonna slice it all open into pieces and that, like we, we, we got on night. We got 80 percent on 80 percent of the time. You know what I mean? It's just but when we didn't get on, it was full on. Before we got in a band, I don't think we really seen much of each other. I mean, we just sort of brothers and that. But even in Oasis, we got on. You know what I mean? Like you know, when we were in each other's pockets and that, we, we had some good times. You know what I mean? It was like, and obviously with the booze and the drugs and stuff, and then the egos get involved, and then money gets involved. It's it's a recipe for disaster. So I think we held out pretty good. You know what I mean? But um, no, it was all right, man. Do you know what I mean? All that time wasted over just little bits and people go oh you slagged his missus off he slagged my missus there was plenty of it was plenty of back and forth you know what i mean so don't be making out it was just me you know what i mean and so um there's plenty of stories i could tell you mate as well you know what i mean so yeah it's a shame that we split up because there should be we should be making albums together it's i'm rock and roll bands splitting up over little bits <laughs> of crap like that sorry for swearing again he's pathetic so you know what i mean it's you know you split up because one of you dies or something you know what i mean you don't split up because he said this and she said that. Yeah, it's yeah, pathetic, yeah. isn't it? I reckon Main Road, man, when we did Main Road was amazing because it was our ground and all that, like our football team. And we hadn't really thought, Nebworth, that was, you know, that was not even in our psyche, you know what I mean? So Main Road, still living at my mum's when we did Main Road, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I remember going back to my mum's house the first night because I was behaving. And I could still hear Noel's guitars ringing from my bedroom, you know what I mean? Because we, you know, we live around the corner from city ground, not far anyway. So like, I remember being in my mum's bed, like in, the, in, our, in my bedroom, going like that. My ears ringing, but still hearing the guitars, you know what I mean? Feeling back, that was a good time. And then obviously after the main road gigs, it, we went mental <laughs> and that. So then we moved to London. And um, yeah, moving to London was great as well, you know what I mean? Big city, lots of things to do. The 90s was great, it was top best place to be. But what we did with BDI, you know what I mean? We went a bit like, it was all a bit like 1969 and that, and it's never going to get on the radio, is it? You know what I mean? It's like, no one's going to get to hear it, even though there was some good songs, it was stuck in a bit of, bit, a bit in the past, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think if we would have worked with someone like, who we just worked with, them songs would have got heard, and I think, it would have been a different 
ball game altogether, you know what I mean? I, I think it's imp you know, it is important to get your songs on the radio, man. Otherwise, what are you doing it for, you know what I mean? But you don't compromise to the point where you're sounding like some super pop band. Yeah, I learned like you've got to, you've got to, you, you've got to um, you've got to give it to someone else. You know what I mean? So you right, can't just yeah. all be like, oh, this is mine and this is us, and aren't we like the Stones or the Beatles? You've got to sort of you've got to let the producer produce the record. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't a producer. I don't want to be. You know what I mean? I just want to sing the songs. You know what I mean? And if they go a little bit too nice, I will bring them back in. And everything that I kind of heard, I thought, you know what? It sounds all right to me. You know what I mean? I mean, and I knew once we'd get on the stage, we'd rough them up a bit. You know what I mean? I just think it was the name as well. And I think, and I think it was maybe too soon after Oasis. You know what I mean? But I, I did, I thought we would be a lot. I thought we'd, you know, I always, I always think it's going to be big. You know what I mean? And I thought we might have took off a little bit more, but. I, I like the records and I think the records sounded good. Yeah. And the gigs that we did were good. I just think it just people wasn't paying, you know, people weren't listening, you know what I mean? And that's their, that's fine, you know what I mean? Sometimes you've got to be lucky, aren't you, as well? And I think we just come straight off the back of Oasis and I think, I think people have just had enough of me and enough of my crap and all that. And I think, and, and I had as well, you know what I mean? I just think maybe we needed to just get out, get away for a bit, you know what I mean? Obviously, I smoke and I drink and I get involved, unlike some f***ing rock stars. And, uh, and I've been doing that since I was 14, 15. I might have had six months off a couple of years ago for a breather. But I'm normally drinking and smoking and whatever. So my voice will change and it will change over years anyway, you know what I mean? It's all about in there, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like as soon as that mic opens, as soon as that mic's there, then you go to put your stamp on it if you feel it there you know what I mean it's coming out if it's lethargic coming out of there and it's like just you've got to really fight for it then it's time to pack it in in there is a like 17 year old 16 year old lunatic you know what I mean ready to pounce you know my soul you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. my singing soul and obviously there's days when you have bad days he turns into a 90 year old and it's just not happening and that but majority of it I'm pleased with all my voices man well a lot of people go oh stop sing screaming but they're obviously like, you know, little f***ies, aren't they? Like, into it, like, into it, like, into it being like, you know, you don't sing Slide Away when you've got amps and a full band and all that, and you've got 80,000 people singing on top of you. You can't get away with going, Slide Away, give it up. I can do that for you, but you're going to have to remove everyone and turn them amps down on that book. So if you want that kind of thing, you're going to have to go and see the other fella, you know what I mean? But I sing like my life depends on it. And if people, if it's a bit too much for people, then move on. I guess when you're younger, you feel like, you know, you can you can stay up a lot more nights and stuff and do things. So now it's like, it's a no-brainer, man. You can't be rolling into them gigs hungover, man. You've got to, um, you know, or not like, you know, been on the been on the pipes and stuff like that, smoking and shit like that, you know what I mean? Sorry for swearing, you can't be doing that. You've got to behave yourself the week before the gig, man, because you'll know about it if you've not behaved, you know what I mean? That first first three songs and that, if your voice ain't there, it's a long old night. And plus people have paid the money and stuff like they did back then, but you, see, you get away with it when you're younger because, I don't know, you just get away with it. But you get older, man, you've, you'll know about it, man, if you're not on top four, man. Yeah, I like talking to the people, man. And then have a little barney with us, because there's a few of them there that I got. A bit lippy and that, and you need to put them in the place. But it's good little banter. But it is nice, people. You can just tell people how it is, you know what I mean? Or, you know, like people writing stuff that's a bit shitty and that, you can say how it is. And but it's always so good to have a little chat with them as well and ask them how they are. Some people might be able to remember, but you know, there's a lot of fakers out there, aren't there, that apparently f***ing taking, meant to be f***ing rock and roll and the big drug takers and that, but they're obviously sipping f***ing Lucasade and f***ing, you know, and fruit pastels and that. I was, I got off my head in the 90s, and there's a lot of people with great memories from the 90s, and I just think, well, were you really that rock and roll <laughs> and mate? questionable. Well, it is, though, isn't there? There's loads of people like that, you know, you get our kid for one, you know what I mean, they sit down, they can talk about the 90s like that, you know what I mean, for about four hours. Really? Was you on the in Persians, I don't think so, mate, because you've got a great memory, you know what I mean? So some telling lies. So I can't remember because I was getting high. People doing books and stuff like that, all these rock stars doing books, mentioning no names and that. It's like, I wouldn't have a clue how to write a book, not because of the writing, but the memory and all that. And even Keith Richards, you know, obviously he's done drugs, but I don't know, man. They're all full of shit, I think. So no, I can't remember.
Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like a solo artist. I don't, I, th that word artist gets on my tip. <laughs> I mean, I leave that for the likes of Paul Weller and fucking Noel Gallagher and all the other <laughs> artists and that. But I, I just sit, feel like a rock and roll singer or a singer in a band, you know what I mean? Or obviously not in a band anymore, but a singer. So, but I mean, I mean, how, we, how do we get back to doing the album, I guess? I wrote a couple of tunes and then I wrote Bold and When I'm In Need and then I played with someone and then they were like going, look, they're really good. Would you, you know, would you be up for, you know, having a record deal yeah. and that? And I said, well, obviously, yeah, because I want to get back into it, but I don't know how I'm going to get back into the, the business and that or the music thing and that, because I don't think starting a band at 45, I don't know if that's going to work. Having another name and all that, it's not going to work. So I definitely had to, it had to be under my name, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. And then I met someone at Warner's and they said, look, we'll give you a deal. Have you got any more songs? And I said, no. And they said, would you be up for working with other people and that? And I said, yeah, man, we're going to have to because I haven't got any songs, you know what I mean? So flew over to LA, met Greg Kirsten and Andrew Wyatt. And then we'd done three songs in three days and it just felt, it felt natural, you know what I mean? Yeah. It didn't feel like, I thought if it was going to be weird, then I'd probably just, I mean, listen, I had to do it, you know what I mean? As simple as that. But yeah. it, it wasn't weird at all, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, Noel has always wrote songs and with Gem and Andy and that, we've done it together and that, so it felt kind of normal, you know what I mean? It'd be different if I'd started off being a frontman and a singer and a yeah. songwriter and then a sort of halfway down the line, you know what I mean? It, you know, it sort of fizzled out and that, you know what I mean? And no one was buying me songs anymore and then I sort of went, I'm going to work with writers. Yeah. I'd, get, I'd, get, I'd, get, I'd take the dig, you know what I mean? But I've always, I've never, I've always been a singer in a band, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, Whatever gets me through the night and whatever gets me up on that stage, it doesn't matter as far as I'm up, as long as I'm up there, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And you're going to have your purists going, you know, you didn't write the record, you know, and all that. Well, I didn't write any of Oasis, you know what I mean? I feel more comfortable when I'm singing and, you know, worrying about a song. I'm not a songwriter, so I'll put that out there. Uh, but I do write the odd little songs every now and again that seem to be all right, you know what I mean? But yeah. me doing an album on my own, it's never going to happen, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know how to... I don't know how it works, you know what I mean? I can do my little bit and that's it. But like I'll say before, I'll say it again. Sergio Aguero doesn't defend, you know what I mean? He don't come back and defend, you know what I mean? Right. He still puts the ball in the back of the neck. <laughs> so it's like he might not be an all-round footballer, but he still does the business up front. And yeah. that's, how I, that's how I'm seeing it. So get that down your neck, Noel. <laughs>